Hi, and welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who watched my last video, China, the day after tomorrow. Um, that video was very special. It got a lot of really positive feedback and a lot of really nice messages went out to the Chinese community, the country and the people living in the city I was covering. Uh, I also wanted to say thank you to all the new subscribers that are following me and enjoy my work. Um, this video that I'm about to show you um, was recorded just before the coronavirus hit China. And uh, it was recorded in the city of Chongqing. As you know, it's a city of 33 million people. And um, what was special about this video is um, we visited the old town in Chongqing. And it's a very special place to do a lot of people watching. And it really shows you uh, the character of Chinese people and how they um, behave when they see foreigners in their city. And it's very special to my heart, this video. You will see some really funny things and some very thoughtful, uh, kind gestures from Chinese people. Well. Without further ado, I'm going to roll the tape for you and hope you enjoy and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have some interesting things coming up here in the next week or so. Thank you. Attraction, yeah, kind of, kind of give you a window to China and let's see if the Chinese are uh, curious about foreigners or if they're happy or look at a strange or maybe they're just very polite. So let's have a look, shall we? In fact, purple, green, yellow. Solid cast iron. And guess how many foreigners I've seen in an hour that we've been sitting here? How many? One. You saw one foreigner in the whole hour? Yeah. Well, this tea is pretty expensive too, and it's got tea leaves. And you're spilling it. Yeah. And then now you can see the yellow part of the flowers that are in there. And they're quite uh, hard to find. They're so tiny and expensive, almost like, like a saffron spice. Cheers. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a juggler, all right, good man. <laughs> See ya. What is it? What is it? What is it's interesting. You have to be 70 years old to to uh, to uh, even 80 years old to do some hacky sack with soccer balls on your thing. Run out and give him a tip. Run out and give him. A tip. He's he's a juggler and he does uh, bouncing the soccer ball on each foot. So she's gonna give him a tip. Oh, he doesn't want a tip. Did he? <laughs> yes. I guess he was trying to win her heart not to grab a dollar, but that was the nice thing about it. He is a very nice old man, huh? It's oh, wow. Actually, we thought <laughs> they put a CD on, but this place is really interesting. Hi! 
Vintage uh, UK, uh, France. Uh, North Euro European for so many Denmark. Uh -huh. uh, fin uh, Finland, 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 Finland,
here, you know, dressed up for the event. This is a... Um, ah! Hello! <laughs> We probably had a thousand pictures taken. We drank three pots of tea. I am hungry. Let's go. Yeah, we will. A couple minutes. I love this. <laughs> it's good. How much do you love this? No, it's interesting because the Chinese, they're walking by and they stop and they're looking at us and they're not sure what we're doing. I've had enough. We're going to go pee and we're going to go. <laughs> okay. It is... I don't even know what time it is. But we've been here for hours. It's 4 p.m. We still haven't had lunch, so it's time to go. I've actually never been to a more polite part of the world, to be honest with you. We still haven't fed Yulia yet, and we're going to have to do that. I thought it was real. Wow, look at this broth brewing. Now that's a hot pot. It's good food? Yeah, it's good. What is it? Is it chicken or beef or... The food <laughs> is good. This guy, strong man, huh? <laughs> wow. Thank you. There are all types of food. There's a bit of pork. There's a bit of chicken. Wow, I haven't seen a dog in a while here, but he looks hungry. How are you? Good. What do you got? Is it pork? Ah. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, all right. What on earth is this here? I mean, this food, I, I can't even, I can't even recognize the food. I don't even know what it, what I'm eating down here. Hey. And those are, this is China Spice Girls. We're the Spice Girls. Oh, my head's gonna explode. There's so much noise down here. Fruit leather, they call it. You kind of tear it in strips. Cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got. Yeah. I have not seen a pomegranate that size. Well, I asked for the pomegranate juice, and for some reason, somebody took it from me. Oh, here comes the paparazzi again. You want lady now? No! <laughs> Thank you. I'm not free yet, guys. Yep. That's us against the camera. How you go? How you go? My wife. Yulia. Goodbye, everybody. Can I take a picture with you? Yes, yes, of course. Yes. My father. Okay, thank okay. you. <laughs> what are the odds of getting beef here? Every business here that I've seen has actually um, a cash counter. Can you tell me a bit about the area? Of course not. I'm no. not from here. Where I'm you? also traveling. Where are you from? I'm from China. Nanchang. Nanchang. So what do you think Canada? of Chongqing in this area? You like Chongqing? it? You like the Papa? city? No, like I came here like a few months ago. Okay. So um, my friends here, so I just come. Uh, have Do you like, like it? Yeah. I mean, I mean, like I like spicy food. So okay. It's been famous by spicy food. Hey, good to see ya. You too. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm studying U.S. Ah, good. Good to see ya. All right. Take care. So what a cool afternoon, guys. Uh, thank you guys for coming along for the adventure. It's kind of fun. I didn't expect this when I came down here that it'd be so much fun. Just kind of having tea. 
I have managed to lose my wife. I don't know where she is. But I... Oh, there comes Yulia across. You don't want to come across these things. If you see up where Yulia is, just in the background, that's facial recognition. So if you're a Chinese person and you have a uh, mobile phone that's registered, if you jaywalk, you will get a ticket immediately on your phone. And it's not usually a, a big ticket. You do that enough times in the day that you'll learn not to do it. So that's why everybody's quite obedient here. You see not too many people stepping off the curb. Everybody's waiting there and nobody will jump the gun. It'll be just like it is in a... In a...